Yo, what's up? This is your girl Dragon and welcome to another Fortnite creative tutorial. Today we will be focusing on a question asked by our awesome community member, Albon2001. Now this question was asked three days ago and the question was, how did you get on Epic Picks? Well, while I can't say for sure how to do so, because no one really knows for sure if they'll be selected when they submit, I can provide some solid tips that might help you create a map that would or could be considered teacher worthy. Before we get started, please be sure to drop a like and a sub so you can catch more content like this. Plus, if you do, it really helps out my channel and I really appreciate you. And thank you so much for being awesome if you do. How to submit a feature worthy map. Before submitting your map for a feature, it is very worthwhile to research and do proper due diligence. You want to ensure that you are submitting your finest work. So before you start your project, take some time to do some research. Play the maps that are currently featured, for instance, maps that are in Epic Picks. Take note of how the creator designed the map and what the players are enjoying. Pay special attention to the game structure and the overall feel of the game. Once you get an idea of what makes a map feature worthy, it's time to start planning your own unique project. Try to focus on creating a game that will show your finest creative abilities both aesthetically and mechanically. Start with your game structure and then move on to developing concepts and aesthetic ideas. Now you can take all of what you've learned and produce an exceptional piece of work. Once you have decided what and how you will create it, it's time to begin production. All right, here are a few things that I have observed that can make a map feature worthy. Number one, the gameplay must be easy to understand. Make sure your game has adequate information that tells players how to play your game. You could do this by creating a pre-game that has information within it or a pop-up that displays how to play when the game starts. Now that we can make amazing interfaces with the pop-up device, you can include a tab that will display information on how to play right on the screen. Number two, the gameplay must be easy to play. After doing research, you should have a better understanding of the player base. Once you do, you will be able to develop games that appeal to the audience you are trying to entertain. Keep in mind that they must be able to play the game with ease. It's okay to have challenges, just make sure they are structured in a way that allows players to easily navigate them. Number three, the game must look good aesthetically. The first thing a player sees determines how they will feel about the game. So it's very important to remember that we play with our eyes first. Your game must look pleasing to the eyes to heighten the experience for the players. Number four, the game must work in an efficient manner. Test your game often to ensure that it is performing well. I would not recommend you submit an untested map for a feature because it would not display you at your strongest. FCHQ holds weekly playtesting so you can submit your map and get valuable feedback on how to make it better. In addition to this, if there are mechanical issues that would prevent your map from working efficiently, they will be discovered so you can fix them. If you're having trouble finding playtesting for your map, be sure to check the links below. Number five, the gameplay must appeal to the discovery player base. When you're building and working on several projects simultaneously, it can become challenging to find time to play Fortnite Creative. If you don't have time to play games other than your own, you might find that you have lost a grip on what the audience wants. So your feature submission must appeal to the Discovery player base, and the only way to know that is to play. And the last one is number six. The game must be able to maintain the interest of players. Make sure your feature submission is unique enough to stand on its own. Maintain the player's interest with challenging objectives, an engaging storyline, new game modes, and more. Alright, and that's it! 
Of course, there might be other variables, but these are just a few that will place you on the right path to building a map that is or could be feature worthy. All right, once you are done, it is time to submit your map for a chance to be featured. To do so, you must access the Fortnite Creative Map Submission Form. That link will be posted for you below if you don't have it. Now, currently there are two feature options to choose from when you take a look at this form. And those two options are Epic Picks and Hubs. You will also see a selection that says Mentor Application. Now, very little is known about this program. So if you would like more information, I suggest you contact Epic Support. If you want to submit a hub, select Hub. And if you want to submit an app, select Epic Picks. Fill out the form completely. Make sure to include all the required information as requested. Also, when it comes to submitting a video, take note of the small type that says, please submit one video fly through of your map in addition to one round of gameplay. Trailers are optional, but do not count towards your video requirements. Videos that are private cannot be viewed and will cause an automatic rejection of your application. So if you are uploading your videos to YouTube to submit, make sure that your videos are not set to unlisted or private. As for Google Drive links, those are mostly considered to be private. But um, if you have questions about that, or if you want to make sure, I suggest you also contact Epic Support. Once you're done filling out the form, you can submit your map application. It can take time to get a response, so in the meantime, you could take a break or even start production on a new project. And that's it. That's two questions answered and one, how to make your map feature worthy and also how do you submit to Epic Picks? Many of the ideas I have expressed have come through trials and errors I have experienced throughout my journey as a Fortnite creative creator. As Fortnite creative changes with time, so can these ideas. So be very flexible because anything can happen, you know? So the most valuable advice I can leave you with is this. Always be eager to learn and grow in your craft. And don't ever say you can't do it because you can. The possibility is there if and only when you believe it to be. You guys got this. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out. This is your girl, Jagan, signing off, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.